yes, I fell for the okie doke. I was bamboozled. I was fooled. Yep. I grew up during a time when it was encouraged that women be independent. You know, have your own this, have your own that. You don't need a man. You're strong. And we fell for it. A lot of us fell for it. But I remember talking to a gentleman even back then. And he was trying to explain to me how he did not think that that was going to work out for me so well. And I kind of just chuckled because, you know, I was living my life. Ha! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he talked about an elevator. He was like, you know, it's like an elevator. You know, when you go in the elevator, it tells you the maximum capacity that that elevator is meant to hold. He said it doesn't mean that if you put more weight on it than it was made to hold, that it's going to break down immediately. But over a period of time, there's going to be a whole lot of wear and tear and a whole lot of maintenance issues. And it probably won't live the lifespan that the engineer intended it to have. Some of the most unhappiest women are some of the most independent. What did he say? <laughs> some of the most unhappiest women are some of the most independent. Go on Twitter, go on YouTube, go on TikTok. You see women crying. You see women tired. You see women upset. Crying that they're a single mom, crying that they're independent, crying that they have to do everything on their own. They're crying. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. Hmm. Just like women, he said. It doesn't mean that you can't carry the weight for a short period of time but it doesn't but it what it does mean is that you were not intended to carry the weight for a long period of time and when you do you're going to have maintenance issues you're going to have a lot of wear and tear and you might not even have the lifespan that you could have had if you didn't carry all that weight and i think about that now i think about all the stories I hear where women are talking about how tired they are and they wish they would have not fell into that trap and they wish they would have had a life partner and they, the, it just goes on and on. Women are tired. They realize that they were bamboozled, that we were bamboozled and we fell into the agenda. We fell into the agenda. We fell into the agenda. See, this is what I'm saying and I want women to pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. The independent woman is a myth. Destiny's child lied to you. Women lied to you. Feminism lied to you. Modern woman's movement lied to you. This whole idea of being a feminine, independent woman is a joke. You will not last very long as an independent woman. Think about it. Who's gonna protect you? Who's gonna provide for you? Who's gonna help you with the kids? Who's gonna put a roof over your head? Now, I'm not saying that women cannot provide for themselves, but it's a difference between being an adult and being an independent woman. And it's always the most independent women that act as if they don't need a man, but then deep down inside their heart, they know that they want a man. Yep. They just don't want to put pride to the side and actually get one. Independent woman anymore. 
is not all that it's cracked up to be. This message is for my future husband, so if you're not my future husband, please keep scrolling. Daddy, I don't want to work anymore. Oh, I decided that I need me a sugar daddy, but I want me a sugar daddy that don't want no sugar. That being this independent woman paying all the bills like, uh-uh, oh, that's ghetto. Right now. I don't know if anybody else has realized this, but this whole independent woman thing, you know, I don't need nobody. I can do bad all by myself. It's feeling like a scam. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the whole independent, you know, I want to be independent. I got my own bag. Ladies, it's dead. I don't know how Libby said. She got her own house. She got her own car. Two jobs, work hard. You a bad bro. I don't want to be a bad broad no more. I started my own business and I worked as a girl boss for seven years. Now that I turned 30, I've realized that actually I am a very um, dependent person. Yes, I am independent, but I am someone who prefer depend on someone. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> Some of the most unhappiest women are some of the most independent. Go on Twitter, go on YouTube, go on TikTok. You see women crying. You see women tired. You see women upset, crying that they're a single mom, crying that they're independent, crying that they have to do everything on their own. They're crying. But yet and still, you choose to be an independent woman. You choose to be a single mom. You choose that life. And a lot of you fell for it, drank the Kool-Aid, and now it's too late. You don't want to be like Vivica Fox, 60 and single. You don't want to be like, you don't want to be like the miserable cat lady. But can anyone who loves animals that much really be crazy? <laughs> and see, here's the other caveat, is that you waste your youth chasing after guns that can do absolutely nothing for you. The hood guys, the pookies, the right rays, the thugs, the drug dealers, the scammers. Women would rather date a guy that dresses like a thug versus a guy that dresses like he's comfortable. And you see it every day when women post things like this. Aren't you tired, ladies, of doing it all by yourself? Or are you tired of crying on social media because you made the wrong decision? Or are you tired of constantly being told that you're a single mom and you're not worth anything? Or are you tired of being a statistic? Aren't you tired, ladies, of dealing with men who can barely afford to take you on a real date? These are your life choices. Back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So which is it gonna be, ladies? Are you gonna take the red pill and wake up and learn that being a single mother is a complete waste of time and you have the 100% power within your own self to make the best decision when it comes to a mate? Or are you gonna take the blue pill and stay asleep? Either way it goes, ladies, men are going to continue to be men. Men are going to continue to be men. Men are going to continue to be hood. 
the hood guns ain't going to stop being hood guns. So you can either wise up and make better decisions or you can just be a statistic. Those are your options. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You're going to see me right after this. Click the next video that you see on the screen. That's where you will find me. And until the next video, peace.